Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with the next. All right, so I want to talk to you guys today about these whole Facebook suicide live things. I feel like the internet is being used to do stupid stuff nowadays. Now, first of all, if you're going through depression, if you're going through something, if you're in high school, school, or anything getting picked on, or you just feel like life is hopeless, you know, I feel a lot of times we get through, we all feel that, or we feel like we ain't going to make it or be nothing in life, or like what's going to happen, or how are we going to live without this person. Like, if you're going through that, try to at least, you know, seek some help or talk to somebody you can uh, confide in. Or think about the things that make you happy and the things that you will miss while you will not be here if you choose to try to take your own life because it's not worth it it's uh, it's very selfish because you don't know who could be missing you uh, sometimes people do tell people some people is better at hiding it some people are sad but, you know in this generation we tend to be selfish and not we, but some people. Some people aren't really loyal to you. They're only loyal to the need of you. And once their needs change, so does their loyalty. So if you have people that surround you like that, then you may want to <coughs> drop them. But, you know, because with suicide in the internet or suicide in the media is nothing new. There was a newscaster in the 70s who killed herself live on air. There was a guy who... There was a little kid who was in his teens, and this was in the 90s. This is when, like, computers, when you had to use the phone, when you couldn't use the phone and the internet at the same time, the house phone and the internet. And he, he was, uh, he had, like, a pen pal online, an online pen pal, and um, he was thinking about committing suicide because he was getting bullied in school. And this person that was on the other end basically told him, yeah, do it, you know, ain't nothing out there for you. So, um, yeah, he did it. And um, the police actually traced that person's uh, house address and actually told, because it was another kid, and they actually um, traced his uh, IP address to his house, and then they went and told, hey, you know, that kid did commit suicide. So stay away from people like that. <clears throat> But the whole, uh, and then there was this black girl who just committed suicide on a uh, live stream as well as now I'm hearing a policeman did it, then the Caitlin Davis girl who did it. You know, it's just really getting out of hand. And, um, you know, it's not worth it and it's not glamorous, it's not fun. I, I, just, I hope to stop the copycat suicides because it's just, um, again, it's not worth it. It's, it's um, you know, you'll get through it, you know, be you, be true, you know, you could be as weird as you want, like me, uh, uh, you know, because I don't care, you know, I love myself enough to not let people get through me, to me, and yeah, because like, once you love yourself, that's the best thing in the world, because <laughs> you really just confide in being alone. <clears throat> You know, you should love yourself to the point where people have to compete against your alone time. You know, I, <coughs> express yourself. Don't express yourself, okay? You know, suicide is not the answer. Alright, so any comments, questions, concerns, who we talk about, leave it in the comment section below. Um, Till then, this is me and boy, Crystal the next. Again, suicide is not the answer. If you are depressed, if you are depressed or you're going through something, please talk to someone. You know, a lot of people have a lot of ears. Or call a number. You know what to do. All right, peace.